A couple weeks ago, Liz Osmond commented saying, Even though the Sarah Dichie mini documentary breakdown was good, I'm actually more interested in how you did the disappearing effect. So today, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Kevin, and today we'll be talking about the disappearing effect. This is a pretty old effect, and there are many ways to do this, but I'm going to be showing you how I do it. And to do this, it really comes down to three easy steps. The first step is your background. You want to make sure your background and camera is steady. It makes it harder for you to sell the effect if there are moving elements in the background, such as moving people or a tree swaying in the breeze. When you cut those two segments of video together in post, which I will show you how to do, you want everything to stay the same so you can sell the continuity of the effect. Step two is acting. Acting is a crucial part of this effect because you are actually vaporizing into thin air. So whether you scream or you jump, just be sure to act the part before you disappear. Step three is surrounding. This this one is not needed and not a lot of people pay attention to this, but I think this really makes the difference. What I mean by surrounding is your background reacting to you disappearing. Things you might imagine might be a gust of wind or maybe some fire caused by the friction of you breaking the sound barrier. It's your choice, you just want to be sure to reflect this in your footage. Something I like to do when I disappear is to move the chair slightly because in my mind that's what happens when I disappear. After you do these three things, the next part is editing. Let's head to Premiere. So this part is easier than it seems because you will basically only have two pieces of footage, the one with you in it and the clean background slate. You want to cut the first footage at the peak of the action and reveal the background layer afterwards. Here you can see that we're getting closer to what we want. To hide the cut we'll be using some stock footage and the pack I use is called Magic Spells I think by Action VFX and I'll put a link in the description below. Just download the pack and pull it on top of your footage and change the blending mode to screen. Then you would get something like this. Magic is all about misdirection, and the same thing applies to editing. There are some things you can do to further sell the effect, such as shrinking yourself or adding some camera shake. All these things ultimately distract your viewer from the supposed cut. If you have any further questions, be sure to leave in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see a couple ways I've used this effect in the past, I'll link some videos up to the left. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until the next video, I will see you later.